Mark brings a unique perspective to education. He's a bit of an innovator in the area of technology. And what he wanted to do was provide the students with a way that they could learn in, at a pace and a style that, that they could pick. And what he did is created a bunch of online video modules. And we put these modules online initially in our first course management system here at Ohio State, and then in our new course management system in Carmen, and he puts them in chronological order, and this week they might have seven modules of seven to 15 minutes apiece, and next week, and next week, and next week. Uh, both Accounting 211 and Accounting 310 have an online component to it. And the online component is actually done right here in the studio where we're currently at, where we shoot what we call small video modules. And the modules present the course material to the students in a video lecture format with uh, synchronized graphic displays and sample problems. With 211, uh, the course is online. We can view online modules every week, um, and that's where we get almost the entirety of our information. There is a uh, recitation on Friday at the end of the week. Uh, however, it's very nice because you can always go back and rely on that information at any time you want, as opposed to taking notes in a class and worrying if you got it all or not. With all due respect to our textbook authors and publishers, I, I think we can all agree that the cost of textbooks is just getting to the point of being ridiculous. And when the students are spending $150 to $200 for a textbook, that they would then go back the, the end of that quarter to resell to the bookstore and maybe get $10 to $15, something does not seem right. So we've taken all of our course materials and we put them online. There are PowerPoint slides that are basically serve as the course material. We have all of the modules, which are these online discussions, in transcript format. Probably the biggest savings for the student is, uh, well, there's obvious travel. They're, they don't have to drive someplace, they save gas money. And then there's opportunity costs. That time they're traveling and sitting in class, at a time that's not convenient for them, they're, they're losing money. They're losing the ability to make money. And then the other savings with Mark's uh, class specifically is he doesn't use a textbook. It's optional in one of his courses. The other one, he doesn't use it at all. In Accounting 631, I think I paid $10 for the book and half of that was shipping. Um, in some of my other courses, I've paid as much as $230 for a book or two, um, or $50 to $60. I'd say to average at least $100 per class uh, for a book. So it's definitely nice to only have to pay $10. Uh, moving things to online, or at least components to online, has taken all of the bad things related to 200 to 250 seat lectures and eliminated them. They still have the chance to ask questions. They still have the chance to come and be active learners and participants in the class. They come every Friday, uh, which is when we offer our sessions. But now they can have the ability to come in prepared because they have had the chance to work through the material, watch the lectures, and they've actually taken a little bit of a responsibility for their learning. Mark being an early innovator and adopter of this technology is an example for the other faculty, and uh, he's been doing it for quite a few years, but uh, other faculty are seeing this. They're seeing, hey, how's that working for you? I walked by the computer lab, and I saw students watching a video. That was you, wasn't it? And they said, yeah. And he goes, well, how do you do that? And how can I do that? And so it really has opened the door for a lot of faculty, Mark being that early adopter.